Hey guys, welcome back to another Kimball's Corner. Uh, today, I have the privilege of using some of Jane Davenport's new Whimsical and Wild stamps. And yes, I may be artistic, but I am not crafty. That's where these come in handy, because I've always been, like wanted to make my own cards, and I just, they look, well, let's not talk about how they look. These make it very easy to have your own card, like it's handmade, the sentiments are there, or you can write your own. I'm gonna be using these ones. And uh, I'm gonna use my squid ink, some watercolors, some markers. We're gonna see how it turns out. I don't know. I'm gonna go with the giraffe one, giraffe wisdom, and the kitty cat one, because I love kitty cats. And what I have here is just a piece of heavy watercolor paper that I'm gonna fold in half to make a card out of. And then, over here, I have an Express blending card, Express It. Yeah, I've never used one, so this will be new to me, but I'm gonna use markers on this. Hopefully that turns out. And this will just be like, more like a postcard style rather than a greeting card. So, let's get started with the kitty cat. And cross your fingers, <laughs> let's hope this turns out.
All right, so there we have this one. I could do a little bit more, like put a circle around her, something to make it pop, I'm not sure, but I don't wanna go overboard. So I'm gonna stop here for this one. Uh, I did mess up on the eye a little bit, but shh, don't tell. People won't look at it if they don't know. Um, tried to keep it simple, just went with the stamp, and then I did the black lines around the face just to draw the attention more to that area. And I did like the pale purple behind this to create like a, a slight little shadow behind it. And uh, yeah, I might add some more black accents down here maybe, maybe some black something up there to help make it pop. The Express It blending cards are okay. I like them. They blend really nicely with the markers. Again, I do have really old markers. I should buy some new ones. My Jane Davenport ones. I'm just, it's all about Jane Davenport today. I can't, I can't help it. I just, I went to Michael's and splurged. What can I say? So, all right, one down, one to go. Let's see how this one turns out. All right, for this one, I am going to use my Jane Davenport Neutral Palette watercolors. I rarely ever use these ones. I always use the Brides palette just because I like the brighter colors. But I'm filling these for, you know, the yellowy, brownish colors of the giraffe. I'm going to give her a little red, white, and blue outfit, maybe with some blonde hair. It's going to be great. I need to get my brush that I've had for like 500 years poor thing. I even tried trimming it, so now it just <laughs> looks even worse. But it still works, so let's get to it.
there we have another simple card. Very cute, very simple. With a little lovely sentiment inside, which I feel like I could just add a splash of like some yellow over that. And I made a nice unintentional gradient. Ooh, just that little pop of color added so much, my gosh. All right, let's clean this up. There we go, a cute little card. Giraffe wisdom, stay above the drama, stretch yourself, stick your neck out, enjoy the view and stand tall. Very good advice. Thank you, Mr. Giraffe. So we have that card. We have this cute little thing, which I still feel like I'm gonna do some more to this one. And off camera, I may have gone a little crazy. And uh, I just did a couple more. So I did this one because how cute is that? Dream big, good advice. Also, oh my gosh, how cute is that? Love it. What a difference one person can make. Very true. And last but not least, because how beautiful is that? Sending hugs. I love these. I feel like I could work with them, get better and better and better, make even cooler cards, and send them to people that I love. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I think you should definitely get these stamps if you like making cards, because it makes it so stinking easy. And I just use Jane's markers and watercolors, and like a silver uni ball pen. Crazy, I know, right? So yes, love them, had a ball, and I can make all the cards I want, and it's like I don't have to keep spending money on cards. I just make my own. All right, you guys, thank you so much for joining me. Please take care, have a wonderful, wonderful week, and I will see you next Friday. Or I might take some time off, haven't decided yet, but I will leave a video saying if I do or not. I will leave a video if I decide to take some time off, because I am working on some personal projects and it is taking up a lot of time and effort and I might just need a break from YouTube. We'll see, I don't know. I may just post random videos occasionally. Who can say? All right, everyone take care and I will talk to you later. Bye.